name is Kevin Black. I'm at uh, 12625 Booth Lane, Fairhope. I'm also the uh, co owner of Man War LLC, which is located at 319 Half Fair Avenue. Um, thank you for letting me address the council. Uh, in March of this year, the Alabama Policy Institute published a report ranking Fairhope, Alabama as the number one most business friendly city in the state. And that's quite an accomplishment. The report was based on criteria, quote, that both ensures business success and protect, protects the entrepreneurial spirit. Protects the entrepreneurial spirit. That sounds good. Uh, it sounds like a place I'd like to work. Um, you know, we're here today discussing Mr. Kant's plan to isolate and ostracize entire categories of legal and legitimate businesses. On a personal level, this plan, and in, current, in its current form, seriously cripples my business's prospects for the future. Uh, it negates any leverage we have to negotiate our lease with the landlord. If our building is sold or destroyed for some reason, we can't maintain the lease there. We have no options to relocate or to expand for that matter uh, anywhere within the downtown business area. This plan was specifically designed to make sure that these businesses could only exist in the Green Oak area. So the tailoring, so-called tailoring for Fairhope was only done to reverse engineer so that we can't exist in downtown Fairhope. And uh, to date, there's been no foundation made, no explanation of why this is necessary. Uh, last summer at the uh, Board of Adjustment meeting, Jonathan Smith stated that prior to you know, proceeding with drafting this ordinance, he was going to engage the community here in Fairhope business owners of this affects to arrive at a fair and amicable arrangement. Um, unfortunately, that due diligence was never was never done. Um, complete failure of diplomacy on the part of Mr. Mr. Kant and Mr. Smith. Um, neither of these men have visited my business, have uh, engaged us at all. They know nothing about the nature of our, of our work, about our customers, about how our plans for the future. Nothing. It's completely uninformed and, and completely unenlightened. Um, not a single effort has been made to try and make this fair for, uh, for the, the people that are actually concerned and that it affects. Now, the first time I was made aware of the topic was when it came in front of the, uh, the Planning Commission uh, back on April 1st. At that meeting, um, I asked, we asked a series of simple questions. You know, uh, first of all, why is this all necessary? You know, this is a fabricated problem. You know, none of the predictions made last summer regarding the impact of a tattoo shop on Farrah was going was to turn Farrah Avenue into Bourbon Street, that the uh, strip clubs, the uh, adult bookstores, motorcycle games, the whole lot, none of it's come to fruition. Nothing. So, again, why is this all necessary? The answer to that question from Mr. Smith and Mr. Kent was that, well, other cities in the county are doing this and we're just following suit. So, are we leaders or are we followers? Uh, further question the specifics of the ordinance. Um, proximity to schools, churches, parks, uh, the downtown business uh, area as a whole. Why, does it, why do these businesses pose a threat to children, people of faith, uh, and the downtown business area? No answer to that. No answer provided. So again, what is the foundation for this? What is the reasoning behind it? It's none provided. So I myself have spoken to uh, church administrators, teachers, parents, other, many other people in the, in the downtown business area. None of them express such concern. Nobody. Now, certainly they may express concerns in private, but, you know, let them come forward. Um, now, if the... Uh, if the concern is that certain businesses tend to have uh, what we consider gaudy ex exteriors um, that are adorned with uh, neon, then it seems like it would be a simple solution to simply pass restrictions that uh, dictate what the exterior of a business can look like. That seems like a fair and simple solution. We would certainly abide. We already have. Um, I'd like to add also that at that uh, planning commission meeting, several of the members, although they did vote for it, uh, expressed concern on the record that this ordinance unfairly uh, hinders not existing businesses. That's on the record. Uh, in that same meeting, we made a, I made a simple request. 
The simple solution for the problem is that to make existing businesses exempt from the ordinance. Um, it already makes exemptions for uh, cosmetic tattooing, a practice according to the state and county, exactly the same as the practice that we work, that we provide. No difference. Same equipment, same same practices, same inspections from the health department. There is no difference. Again, there's no explanation in the ordinance as to why there's a division of those uh, of that uh, of that practice. So, um, I. I made that request. Uh, Mr. Smith stated at the time that that was a legal issue and uh, that he couldn't speak to it, so it's understood. So, Mr. Wynn is here. I'm wondering if uh, that issue had been had been broached with you, the issue of an exemption for me before an existing business. Has that topic been broached with you by either of these officials? I didn't think so. <clears throat> Again, a complete lack of due diligence. There's been no effort to make a fair and equitable decision here for, for everybody involved. So, uh, I've sought legal counsel on this. I've talked to our legal counsel for our business as well as other legal resources, who all of which agree. Exemption for existing businesses is a perfectly legitimate and legal solution to the, to the so-called problem. And it's well within the power of this council to make such a recommendation. And that's simply what we're asking for. That gives the mayor wants to uh, lock out businesses that he doesn't cotton to, and we get to go about our business quietly and uh, have a bright future and, and work in the, the town where we both grew, where we all grew up. That's what we want. It's a simple solution. 